Greetings, YouTube. I saw an article this morning about a town in Australia, one Bundanoon, which is banning bottled water. Apparently, a bottling plant wants to move into their area. The town doesn't necessarily want the bottling plant to move in. And as a countermeasure, they've decided to ban the product that the company would produce, which I can understand. Additionally, you have the advantage of by bottling the water, hopefully, you will reduce the use and people will be more likely to use reusable containers. The city is going to have uh, water fountains installed so that anyone who needs to uh, fill water bottles can, in public, do so for free. I think businesses are also going to offer filtered water at a low cost. Now, I use one of these on a regular basis. It's an old school Nalgene bottle. Yes, I'm aware that the BPAs can be, are considered an issue, but I'm not worried about it. I've had it for years and I've been using it. I'm happy with it. It's darn near indestructible, and I take it with me all over the place. I use it every single day at my house. I'm a big proponent of bottling your own water at home and bring it with you when you need it. Uh, I don't drink and stuff in public very often, simply because I don't like any artificial sweeteners. As a diabetic, I can't have sugar, so that counts out pretty much every drink under the sun that isn't water. I don't drink coffee. I rarely drink tea anymore. Um, so for me, bringing water is pretty much a must-have. Uh, I've always been opposed to the concept of bottled water because of the infrastructure impact of transporting liquid from one point to another when we already have an entire infrastructure in this nation designed to deliver water to your home. And in this country, we have some of the safest drinking water on the planet. So. I've never really understood why people need to purchase water. Um, I can understand that if, if the water is uh, a drink in the sense of it's flavored or something like that, I get it. Um, but just straight, ordinary water, I don't understand why people do it. Um, in particular, for example, my favorite whipping boy in this topic is Fiji water. Rather ironically, on a thread on a metafilter on this very topic, the bottom ad at the page put up there because of the fact that the article was about water was for Fiji water. Fiji water comes from a country where the people who live there don't have access to clean water. And yet there's a company in that nation that bottles water and ships it across the planet so other people can drink it. Now I've actually tried Fiji water, it isn't all that great. I do, however, think the bottles themselves are very cool in shape. That's just a design feature. I have to think the good design should get awards, and it's a good design. Um, but the product itself is not needed. It's bad for Fiji. It's bad for the planet because people aren't recycling these bottles. Um, I recycle everything in the house that we can recycle. Um, we do plastic, paper, metal, you name it. If it can be recycled, we do it. But I think America really needs to wrap its head around the fact that bottled water is a major impact on the environment and is a drain on people's resources when it doesn't, isn't necessary in this country. When you can just fill one of these up for essentially nothing at your home. And if your water isn't the flavor that you like, there are cheap filters that can be purchased, which will have no appreciable impact on the amount of water you use. Now there are systems like reverse osmosis, which do have a waste product. Uh, you use up water to produce the water that you, um, that you want to drink. I think it's a two to one ratio. So if you want a gallon of water, you're wasting two gallons of water. So there's an issue with that. I understand that. But there are systems on a, on a small consumer level, if you're just going to have it for daily drinking, like a Brita water filter, things like that, that you're not going to be wasting it. And it reduces um, uh, a lot of the, the, the particulates that give people the impression that the water doesn't taste good. There are alternatives to bottled water. I really think that we, especially in the first world nations, really need to look at them and take advantage of the fact that for pennies, you can fill up one of these.